Forewarn weather with Four Zone Weather. Pinpointing conditions down to your neighborhood. You said it was going to be kind of a wet, messy start to the day. You were very right on that, Kim. <laughs> yeah, I, I said last night, this is a very polite storm. It's behaving yeah, exactly yeah, the way we thought it, the... it showed up on time. It yeah. went where it's supposed to go. It's a really nice thing. Did you notice the kids in the UP? They don't even need sleds. They were right. just like, like, we know Whoa! how to do this. Yeah, they've yeah, done this their whole this. lives. All right, let's look outside right now. It is a cloudy afternoon here in Metro Detroit, but dry. We did get that break midday from the rain, as we expected, and highs are in the upper 40s in Detroit, mid 40s in Howell, 43 in Pontiac and 48 right now in Adrian. Exact track 40 radar all is quiet right now. If you have plans over the next couple of hours, it is going to be dry, but we are watching very closely this area of rain right here that's moving through parts of Fort Wayne. It is moving to the northeast. So after six, seven o'clock tonight, we'll start to see some of that rain move in here. Now the heaviest rain stays down to our south as as well as the severe weather. Yes, I said severe weather. If you can believe it, there is a severe thunderstorm watch up right now for parts of central Ohio over to western Ohio. It does not include northern Ohio and that Michigan border. Yesterday, uh, the SPC put out something that we were at a marginal risk right along the Ohio Michigan border, but that has now um, shifted a little bit further to the south. So this is the bullseye right here and where they're expecting some strong thunderstorms. So uh, this was called a triple point storm and basically it's this upper level disturbance. You can really see it uh, rotating around when we uh, showed you the radar. But what's going to happen is that severe weather stays down to our south and then once this moves off to the east, wrapping behind it is some colder air. So tomorrow we will see a few light scattered snow showers, not expecting any accumulation, but it's definitely going to be a colder day tomorrow tomorrow for us a cloudy day and wouldn't be surprised if we see at least a few snowflakes tomorrow and then a cloudy day it looks like for Saturday and then in the afternoon on Saturday we'll start to get some breaks you can see the dry slot there before our next system starts to push in <clears throat> excuse me for Sunday and we might even get a little dusting for the end of the weekend. So high temperatures over the next several days are still technically above normal for this time of year which is 32 but it's definitely above normal for the next several days. We don't see things really cooling down much in the extended forecast as well. 34 overnight tonight. Rain will change over to just very light snow. It will turn colder with a low of 34. Also a little bit breezy with winds out of the west, 10 to 20 miles per hour. So that's going to put a chill in the air tomorrow. Wind chills will be in the 20s, but it will be in the upper 30s for our high temperature with just again a few scattered light snow showers throughout the day. Saturday in the afternoon might get a break or two of the sun with a high of 36 cloudy with a few light scattered snow showers for Sunday. Wednesday is the day that we are watching uh, what could be an impactful storm and maybe bring us a little bit of snow. I'll have more on that coming huh. up tonight at five, six o'clock five, five and six huh. tonight. Yeah, got me curious. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kim.